Hi, writers. Today we're going to be doing our reading, our writing, and our social studies all together in our workbook today. We're going to be focusing on telling a story from the point of view of the log. So today I want to model for you how I would tell the story if I was a log being chopped down in the forest. Now your story is going to start at the rollway when they roll in from the river drive because um, you don't need to make your story as long but if you'd like a challenge you could start where I do in the forest but it might be um, a little harder to do. I'm going to show you my model and what it tell you what I was thinking as I think about being the tree from the point of view of the tree. You will be typing it in your lumberjack workbook and um, it says, pretend to be the log sitting on a rollway. You now are going to travel down the river, tell the story of your journal journey from the rollway to the sawmill. So you got to start at the rollway and at the sawmill. Use the word bank right here to help you use at least 10 of the words. You need 10 of them in there. The glossary could be helpful from your booklet. So remember, you can go back to your booklet right here and the glossary, can, the glossary pages can be helpful for using those words and what they mean. And then um, it says, make your word bank words red when you are done. So if I started and use the word roll right, right here, I am going to change that, highlight that and change that to red so that I know that I use that word already. So use 10 different words. So here I am, I'm gonna model for you. I'm the tree, I'm thinking about if I was a tree sitting in a forest and a lumberjack came up to me with an ax, I would not be very, um, happy, I don't think, maybe I wouldn't even know what's going on. So let's go check out my story here. I made a model for you over on this other page. It says, my last day's memoir of a white pine. Well, hello there. I see you've come to visit me in the forest. My name is Loggy Logger, and I have been growing here for nearly 300 years. I'm standing here with my other white pine friends swaying in the breeze, and I can't believe that I finally got to meet a new friend. Who are you? I ask. I really can't understand the language of the tall bearded man in the flannel checkered shirt carrying a sharp object in his right hand. Ow! I scream. The ax is cutting a triangular notch near the base of my trunk. My branches are shaking as he hits me multiple times. Oh no, here come some of his friends with a different type of tool. Sure looks sharp with all its teeth. Can you tell what kind of tools that we have been using so far and what their jobs are? I'm going to continue as my log. My best friend, who has been standing next to me for as long as I can remember, says that's a cross cut. He understands the lumberjack language better than I can. He says that two men are going to work the saw on each side of me right about where the notch was cut. That's sure hurting right now. Timber, yells the lumberjack. Help me, I'm falling, I shout. I brush past my friends and land on my back on the snow-covered ground. I can't sway in the wind anymore. I wonder what's going to happen to me now. Uh-oh, a man with an ax is starting to cut my beautiful green branches off at my trunk. I can no longer reach out and touch my friends. I remain here just lying on the ground, limbless. I'm starting to feel the cold air. My branches no longer are stopping the breezes from reaching my trunk. Brrr. Now I'm gonna stop there. I could continue with what the job of the skitter would do when the Teamsters, how they'd put me on the sled and the scaler would measure me out and the stamper would put a mark on me and I would end up getting out to the rollway. Well, your story is gonna pick up at the rollway. And maybe your log has a different name. Maybe you have a different personality. But as a writer today, I want you to make sure that you're using your words in your story. Like, oops, let me get to the right one. In your story, like rollway, 
River Drive, River Driver, Pike Pole, that's that sharp pointy pole, Cork Boots, they have the spikes on them, Wanigan, that's the cook shack, a log jam, key log, boom, sawmill, and then some other options. You, If you wanted to use the names of the rivers, we had the Wisconsin River, St. Croix River, and Mississippi River. So um, you can change this beginning, but I got you started. Good luck, writers. I know that you can do this. And this is part of both your reading, your writing, and your social studies today. But you also have a couple other pages in your lumber book. So tuning in, this one is a color in one again, and you have to decide what it is. I'm using the letters cold, C-O-L-D-W-E-T, and dangerous, all the letters in dangerous. So anytime I find one of those letters, I'm going to color it in. Well, I've got W from wet, D from dangerous, R, do I have an R? Oh yeah, R and dangerous. So I see a triangle right here. I'm gonna go up to my tool, my shapes tool, click on it, and I'm gonna try and find a triangle and color that whole thing in. Hmm. Maybe I can tip it a little bit to tip. And it's not gonna be perfect. And that's okay. Maybe color it in. So when I'm all done coloring it in, and I might use, oh, here's another D, so I would color that in again, and a W from wet. Oh, I see a square there. So I am going to use my shapes and my square, and I'm going to color in my square. It's not quite there. Stretch it a little bit. Can tip it with my, tip it a little bit. It's close. So when I'm all done, I'm going to type what that is from the River Drive. And then finally, you have a log jam and a maze. We need to start at the beginning and use our line tool to get all the way through the log jam. And I'm just going to use straight lines here. I'm going to try and turn them to red also. And then I draw another line. And I got there and I get another line. So you have to get all the way down. Oops, I started at the back. I should have maybe started at the front, but with a maze, does it really matter? Back, front, as long as you get through without jumping over any logs. You're not a lumberjack. You have to go around and find an opening. You can't jump the logs. So good luck with your workbook today. I know that you will be great writers and we'll have a good time with that story. And I can't wait to read your stories from the point of view of the